to me later. Here to show you guys um, my thoughts on Table. I'm gonna do a card review on it. I'm over here at my locals, so <laughs> having fun beating people with Noble Knights, obviously. You know, why wouldn't I have fun doing this? Yeah, so anyway, let me go ahead and get into the subject right now. I'm gonna show you why uh, I think Table's a great card and why it's very underrated and why you should use it. All right, so here we go. So this right here, Noble Knights of the Round Table. First off, why should you run table? Well, the prime reason to the primary reason to use table is for its foolish burial effect. The plus three effect is the only one you're going to be consistently using throughout most of your duels. By sending noble knights to the grave, you're actually increasing the consistency of drawing better cards like Madrat or Boars. The failed spell can help set up a lady by sending Artorgus to the grave or sending the much needed Hector or Lancelot to the grave as well. Table sets up your primary power plays early in the game, and that's reason enough to use table. Now, now that you know why you're running the card, let's look at how many copies of the card you should run in your Noble Knight deck. You should run two copies of the Field Spell and one copy of Terraforming. The reason why you're running this setup instead of just three copies of the Field Spell is so that you are less likely to draw the Field Spell when you don't need it. Terraforming helps thin the deck, and you're less likely to draw another table when you don't need it. So, if you're finding yourself uh, needing the field spell after using two of them, you can simply use Brother's Effect to shuffle them back into the deck. There is really no uh, reason or need to run three copies of table, as um, the setup with Terraforming is much better, and you can consistently draw well. Um, now that you know the necessary copies of what you should run, Let's talk about cards that you should be sending to the grave. Well, obviously, when you play this, you want to send Hector first. Then after that, you want to send Lancel uh, Lancelot. Now, what should you send after sending those two? Well, if you're uh, playing Chad, which you should, you should send Gwen to the grave for future one-card XYZ plays. If you're running Lady, you should send Atorgus next for that one-card Synchro Summon. After those two important cards are sent to the grave, you should send brothers to the grave because you don't want to draw multiples of them. After that, it's really all about sending uh, different uh, Noble Knight cards to the grave. So, you really want to get to that plus nine effect as fast as you can, if you can do it. But that's not the primary reason as to why you're running this card. So, let's talk about how should you properly use table while you are dumping cards to the grave. While that plus 9 effect is really great to aim for, that is not your primary concern when running table. You should be using table as Hector fuel to constantly keep bringing out Hector to the field. Constantly having a Noble Knight monster on the field is something Noble Knights have been hoping for and we have it. Table helps to reduce Hector's summoning cost by half and having Hector equipped with Gwen in defense mode means you have a constant 2000 defense wall that will destroy your opponent's monsters in battle if you have Hector equipped with Gwen. This helps you save you from OTKs and helps you live a turn longer for your much needed normal summon to go through. Think of Table as Hector fuel to keep you in the game longer. That is how I play Table and if that's how Blader ta plays Table, then that's how you peasants should play Table as well. Don't question Blader. Anyway, now that um, now that we have that covered, what are my personal thoughts on this card? Um, right now, Table is just a consistency card that helps set up future power plays early, improves consistency of your draws, and helps you summon Hector more on a constant basis. I would rate Table as a very great card that is very underrated as well at the same time because many Noble Knight players see the plus 9 effect and think it's too hard to achieve uh, that effect consistently. While that while they are right about that, that is not how you should look at table. The dumping effect is what makes table a very valuable card to have in this archetype and should not be overlooked. Coming next set, I do believe that future support will break this card. Table is obviously set up to be broken next set, so, you know, just wait. You, you, you will see. You will see. Next set, this card will be broken, and a lot of people might call for its banning. You never know. I, I really do believe it will happen. So, until that day comes... Peace out. So.